Hi everyone, this is Harsh Chandra. The primary focus for this video is to give you the overall idea about the Microsoft product available in the IT industry. I'm going to cover three different things in this video. In the first part, I'm going to give you the introduction of Microsoft Corporation, which leads to the overall idea about the Microsoft Corporation, how it started and related information. In the second part, I'm going to discuss about Microsoft technology and the innovation centers available within Microsoft. In the third part, I'm also going to give you the information about the Microsoft product lineup available, which really help you to understand the primary use of the product. So let's get started. Microsoft introduction. Microsoft Corporation is an American multinational corporation headquartered in Redmond, Washington, that develops, manufactures, licenses, supports, sell computer software, consumer electronics, and personal computer, and of course, related services. Microsoft was founded by Bill Gates and Paul Allen on April 4, 1975, and at that time, the basic primary focus is to just create the interpreters for Altair 8800. Just for your knowledge, interpreter is nothing but just a computer program which will follow the instructions based on the scripting language. And Altair 8800 is nothing but the 8-bit processor which is using Intel 8080 CPU. If you want to know more about Microsoft, kindly follow the link as I mentioned in the slide. Again, just for informational purpose, the current CEO of the Microsoft named Satya Nadella. Satya Nadella was a kind of founder within Microsoft to introduce cloud services with Microsoft Azure platform. If you want to know more about Satya Nadella as well, you can follow the link within the slide and you can get more information about him. Microsoft Technology and Innovations. As we all know that Microsoft has several IT products and these all the products is categorized into Microsoft technology areas. For example, cloud, windows, server and management, data platform, business intelligence, office, developer tools, and phone and devices. These all the categories are available within the Microsoft and I'm going to give the high level overview of these Microsoft technologies and their related products in upcoming slide. Just want to share with you more information about Microsoft Innovation Centers, which actually always trying to make their customers happy and to provide them rich experience with their products. They are keep working and continuously working on these world-class products. If you want to know more about Microsoft Technology Centers or Innovation Centers, kindly follow the link available in the slide and you will get more information that how Microsoft is taking these all the IT products into next level. Microsoft Products Lineup Overview Part 1 As I mentioned earlier that the primary focus for this video is to just give you the overview of all the products available within Microsoft. So let's start with the windows and kindly note, I'm not going to provide you the detailed description of the product. I'm just going to share the primary use so that you can better understand the product usage and where generally we use these products. So let's start with the windows again. Uh, the first thing I want to share with you that it is a very common product from Microsoft. If you talk about Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7 and Windows 8, they all are client-side products, means these operating systems are only used for end users, especially for personal computing system. But if you talk about Windows RT, Windows RT is an addition of Windows 8 operating system and it is specially designed for mobile devices. Windows Update. Windows Update is nothing but a service offered by Microsoft which actually provides all the updates for Microsoft Windows operating system and related components. For example, Microsoft Office, etc. Windows Azure. Windows Azure is an open and flexible cloud platform 
that enables you quickly build, deploy, and manage all the applications across the global network. That means you can access your application from anywhere in the world. But make sure the Windows Azure is specially designed for Microsoft and it is only managed on Microsoft managed data centers. The second product from Microsoft is servers. In the server, as you know very well, that servers is specially managed or handled by IT professionals. So let's talk about the very first thing is Windows Server. The Windows Server is a family or you can say is a group of operating systems that is designed by Microsoft for support enterprise level management, data storage, applications, policy and other kind of management for the users which really help IT professional to manage the huge infrastructure including thousands and millions of users. Next is Exchange Server. Microsoft Exchange Server is nothing but the high level business email communication system. Not only that, it also provide you to manage the calendar related things means calendaring you can set up your own meetings and you can provide the tasks to the team members etc and it also manages the contact as well like the email contact generally next product is sql server the sql server is a product the main primary function of the sql server is to store and retrieve data as requested by other applications or maybe by the user actually the SQL server provide you the centralized management system for manage your data so if you have anything and you want to know more information about that particular data the SQL server can provide you that within the business intelligence system we will discuss about this in the upcoming videos but for now the main primary use is this not only that it also can provide you the resources which is also available in the network or you can say available in another SQL server as well. The next product is SharePoint server. The SharePoint server is generally used to create the websites. The websites which can provide the pro project management system as well as you can also provide the personal information or the company information to the public. The SharePoint center Sorry, the SharePoint server can also provide you the secure place to store, organize, share, and access information. For example, your data files, your Excel file, your Word file, or any other file information. The next is System Center 2012. The Microsoft System Center solutions actually can help you to capture and aggregate knowledge about infrastructure, policies, processes and of course related best practices so that you can apply specific policies or you can manage these policies by using system center system center also provide you or allow you to build a manageable systems and it also can automate the operations as well that is of course related to the user link server Microsoft link server is nothing but a communication software which can offer you the instant messaging just like we are using some other instant messaging applications it can also allow you to manage the conferencing you can arrange your conference as well with multiple link users or maybe they are they are a part of uh, your organization and you wanna just make a conference for everyone you can do it within link as well as it can also arrange the meetings online if you want to do that on cross platforms. The next product is BizTalk Server. The BizTalk Server provides a powerful web based development and execution environment where you can integrate loosely coupled long running business processes in between the organization. The main purpose of the BizTalk is to just like automate the systems in between the organization if you have anything to do related to that.
The next product is OneDrive. As we all know, the OneDrive provides you the cloud storage. What is the meaning of that? OneDrive is nothing but a one place where you can store your files and you can access from anywhere virtually. Means you have a data, you store on OneDrive, and even you are using mobile phone, you are going here and there, you can use OneDrive and you can access the file anytime you want. The next product is Office. It is again a very fam famous product from Microsoft. And as we all know, the new product is coming from Microsoft is Microsoft Office 365. Microsoft Office 365 is nothing but the cloud service. The cloud service that manage your office in short. Again, if you don't have any application installed on your machine, you still can access Microsoft Office 365. You can also store the information and you can access it from anywhere by using web app. The web app is nothing but a kind of uh, web application that allow you to work with your Microsoft Word document, PowerPoint document, and Excel document, including Outlook, SharePoint, and OneDrive based on different subscription. The Microsoft Office also provide you one suit as well. Suit means the comprehensive product available and you can install or you can access offline. You can directly install on your machine and you can access, you can edit your document and manage everything within your machine or PC. Same thing as a means cross platform, they also provide Microsoft Office for Mac, for Apple Mac. The current version is 2011, just for your information. The next thing is, in the Microsoft is hardware and multimedia. The first product is Surface. It is in hardware, of course. The Surface is a series of tablet computer which is designed and created by Microsoft. And also on this Surface tablet, we have Windows 8, and generally we are using Windows RT Pro Edition on these all. Next product is Windows Phone. As we all know, the Windows Phone is nothing but is a smartphone operating system developed by Microsoft and it is generally used on multiple different vendors mobile phones. For example, HTC, Nokia, now it is already hired by Microsoft as an example. Next is Xbox. Xbox is a product from Microsoft which is actually the video gaming system. It is just in a console on which Microsoft provides some cloud, I mean some applications so that you can directly connect with the internet and access many other things. As well as you can also play 3D games. You can play many other games which have high resolution or extreme graphics, which will enjoy it by many people. The next product is Zune. Zune is nothing but it's a kind of iPod or a media product from Microsoft and it also have a software that will allow you to manage your all the media or content for example songs movies etc you can put this information into the Zune hardware which is actually a kind of iPod not iPod iPod is a part of Apple industry I mean Apple organization but similar to that you can find for info more information about Zune on internet the next product is Microsoft mouse keyboards, which is of course very common to know. Live chat and live cam. The live chat is actually Microsoft technology enabled headphone, which is generally used for Skype purpose. Live cam is also used for like live cam means uh, for example, like you have a web, you don't have a webcam and you have a desktop. So you can just buy live cam, which is actually directly compatible with link Skype, etc. applications. Next one we have Perceptive Pixel. Perceptive Pixel is just a program from Microsoft which allows you to build a TV size or you can say a big screen on which you can move or edit. I mean to say, uh, you can say it's like touch device. Okay, on that touch device, you can 
write down anything you can explain anything you can put the information over there you can like you can use as a business uh, purpose like you're trying to explain the growth of the organization something like that on a live screen it is available in two category one is 55 inch and one is 88 inch I guess or maybe 82 I'm not sure about it so you can get this information on the Microsoft uh, program on the website Windows Mobile 6.5 is an old version of Windows Mobile which is which which is not I mean now it is not available in short the next product is Bing and MSN as you know very well that Bing is a search engine that brings together the best search and the people in your social network most importantly you are connected the people application within Windows 8.1 and maybe you have multiple accounts for example from Google Microsoft etc so that information will download all the information in one place called people and even you want to find information related to that all the people you can use Bing it is really really highly intuitive application I always use it and I love it the next one is Bing ads the Bing ads is nothing but the advertisement for pay-per-click or search marketing advertising solution that means once you click on the website you can earn some rewards that's our next part that rewards will help you to just win some of the gift vouchers provided by Microsoft so that is all about Bing rewards even you are surfing by using Bing it will also give you some rewards MSN MSN is nothing but the Microsoft actually network and we also have a website related to that if you want to get more information you can go ahead and find out the next one we have safety and security product from Microsoft if you talk about the very first three the virus and security Microsoft family safety and Microsoft security essentials actually Microsoft combines these all three into one solution nowadays we called Microsoft Defender but before in Windows 7 and previous versions it called Microsoft Security Essentials which is a default program provided by Microsoft in Windows 7 and you you had Windows XP or you have Windows XP now even you can download for that it is nothing but just kind of antivirus anti-malware or spyware or I mean not spyware it's an anti-spyware program that allow you to provide safety when whenever you are using or surfing internet it can protect your data it can protect your data from malware is available over the internet which is flawlessly can be downloaded by mistake by any of the user or any customer so it will automatically search it within the machine and find it and also allow you to delete it or help you to remove or you can send that information to Microsoft to analyze the virus or anti or malware whatever it is it is really a nice thing I, I personally use it and it also do not allow your machine to slow down the Microsoft family safety it's a kind of program right now available in Windows 8.1 it is a new product and it is used for child accounts means if you have a kid so you can adjust individual setting within your operating system that actually allows you to control over your children's that's a beauty of Microsoft family safety product the next one we have Microsoft forefront unified access gateway the forefront unified access gateway is nothing but a software solution that provide secure remote access to corporate network access to resources available within or in your organization etc so we can use this it will automatically authenticate and allow external user if it is properly authenticated and based on authorization it allow you to access the resources within the organization the next product is Microsoft forefront identity manager the forefront identity manager actually delivers the self-service identity management for users what does it mean it will actually automate the user identity that means if a user type the username password or the credentials 
it will stored and next time when the user type the same information it will not try to connect with ACS which is access control server and it will not verify again as it is stored in identity manager so the next time it will be verified and it will automate the life cycle of the user then user can access or keep access the resources within the organization but just for your information it can manage all the users by digital identities and these digital certificates have the credential information we all uh, the identity manager also allow Microsoft PCs to use with the smart cards the smart card have an NFC technology and that technology allows users to just use that smart card to log in within the operating system as well and you can see on the lock screen if you have Windows 8 or 8.1 next we have email and communication the outlook.com is actually a free and the personal email service from Microsoft it will allow you to use it powerfully it means if I'm a user I can do many things within Outlook Dot com in outlook.com nowadays if you log in it also provide you 15 GB of OneDrive space including some of the web apps like OneNote Word PowerPoint etc so you can now edit your document right away within outlook.com so that's a beauty of outlook.com the next product is Microsoft Outlook 2013 the Microsoft Outlook 2013 is actually the offline client based application which can be installed directly on the machine and it really works smarter with the tools that actually provide the integration the point is that for example you have team viewer the team viewer provide the integration within Microsoft Outlook 2013 so that you can arrange meeting directly within Microsoft Outlook 2013 you don't need to open the team viewer externally the same way there are a lot of products available on the marketplace where and which allows to integrate your user I mean you not user information the app information within the Microsoft Outlook the next product we have is Skype and I'm not means I'm sure that everyone knows about Skype because it's just kind of VOIP or it is called voice over IP technology service which allows you to use Skype to Skype free calling system and also you can arrange the face to face chat as well that is of course related to video conferencing if you have a proper subscription within Skype but I personally love it I always use it to just instant messaging for instant messaging service you can also send the SMS's but for that you need to buy the subscription within Skype the next product is Yammer Yammer is an enterprise social network that enables employees to collaborate across the departments geographical areas and business application now what does it mean actually actually this I capture from Microsoft website where the Yammer information available but let me try to help you to better understand the Yammer for example I am working in XYZ.com now I create an account in Yammer and it will also ask you a domain name or a specific name which is recognized by your organization or the name of your organization you can say once you type that then automatically if another time or any other day another user from your organization join Yammer it will automatically suggest that this user is already available and then it allow us to like arrange the meeting not just like link but meeting in the sense you can use the Yammer for instant messaging and other communication systems available within Yammer it is very useful for enterprise especially where a lot of people are working in one place or workspace I personally love it and I have an account I know uh, you don't want to use it but in the enterprises it is it is really helpful for you to work the next product is from Microsoft is Internet Explorer and again I know most of the people hate the Internet Explorer but for your information the Internet Explorer 11 especially is one of the more world's most popular web browser because of security reasons the Microsoft really worked very hard on Internet Explorer 11 
and they improve the security they improve the interface of Internet Explorer 11 and they also improve a lot of other things for example RSS CSS scripting or Ajax support as well Internet Explorer is used by many IT professional and developers and they also trying to create new applications for Internet Explorer as you can embed or add these applications within your Internet Explorer the same way Internet Explorer 10 was also good but for if you have the latest operating system I personally suggest to download and install Internet Explorer 11 which is really nice we also have uh, another Internet Explorer versions like 9 8 that works on Windows XP or Windows Vista etc but yeah they have some uh, issues related to securities but now Microsoft has fixed almost everything but yet every week they are trying to find out the vulnerabilities or the issues within Internet Explorer and they're trying to fix it within an updates Microsoft products lineup overview continued and it is the part two in this part two I'm going to provide you the information of remaining Microsoft products so let's get start with the first one in the part two is cloud and online services the first product here is Microsoft Azure actually I already give you the overview of Microsoft Azure as it is providing the cloud platform for Microsoft applications or other services but in short let me give you the high level overview one uh, once again the Microsoft Azure is a cloud computing platform and for the infrastructure as well of course it is created by Microsoft and it is used for building deploying and managing applications and related services and within that you can manage these services from anywhere across the world or the across the globe not only that the Microsoft Azure platform also allows you to use any of the hardware that means any product you like for example Microsoft Windows PCs Microsoft Windows phone Apple devices Android devices or any other device available in the market so it is really really helpful for developers to create such application which can be accessed by any user from anywhere the next product is Microsoft Office 365 and I already give the overall idea but let me help you to give you the little bit detail or more idea about Microsoft Office 365 product it is actually the subscription based online office and other software plus services suits which offers access to various services for example SharePoint online exchange online Yammer again Yammer is a part of now the cloud service in within office 365 and you can deploy many other things within office 365 like you can access everything within office 365 including Microsoft Word, Outlook, Excel as a web app. If you do not have installed Microsoft Word, Outlook, Excel within your machine or local machine, still by using cloud services you can add it and you can do as much as you can do within your local client application. Yeah, there are few limitations right now, but Microsoft is continuously working for better and you know rich experience for the users and they will provide more uh, better features in the upcoming release the next one and the most uncommon product as we mostly don't know is Microsoft Dynamics CRM online Microsoft Dynamics CRM online is actually a customer relationship management business solution that is related to actually sales productivity marketing like that it allows you to use your database like to make your organization you know uh, for better how I can say that like for better you can put the information within the social website so within that social website people can look at and they, you also can use your database whatever you have for example the name of the person the contact number and email ID so these information if you have how you can use it so CRM 
provide you the business intelligence option that will allow you to do many things within that database. The next product we have Exchange Online. The Exchange Online is actually hosted on the cloud and it is a part of Office 365 nowadays. Within that you can access your business emails, you can access calendar contacts from any device. As I mentioned before, if you are using PC, you are using any other device, you can use it. SharePoint Online, it is the next product and is again a part of Office 365. The SharePoint Online is again the cloud-based service that will provide the team sites where everything can be managed. You can assign the tasks to the team members and it also provides you one drive for business option. That means the whatever the information or the docs you shared on the SharePoint site, it will automatically synchronize within OneDrive for business from where you can access and you can put all the information on your local system or local hard drive as well. But after the synchronization completed. The next product we have Link Online. Recently Microsoft worked with that and now Link Online is also a part of Office 365 subscription services. The Link Online is also hosted on cloud and it is provide you the communication services that will connect people anytime and virtually from anywhere. I already give you the overview or the idea about link application or the main primary use of this. I hope you get it. So I'm going to go to the next part which is Bing Maps for Enterprise. Bing Maps platform actually provides abilities to the developer they can add geo geographical like uh, locations information they can add in their application that this user is available in this location for example again guys this is just an example if you want to update like check-in right now you are on the airport and you want to tell in the social place that yes you are at this airport so you can use Bing Maps for that which is really intuitive and very powerful which will not only allow you to share the current geographical uh, location it will also generate some specific uh, like uh, photographs so that you can directly upload to the location that which is related to that particular area so it is really powerful for the enterprise solutions if you have big enterprise you are, your company have a multiple softwares you can buy the multi uh, Bing Maps for enterprise and you can embed these codes within your application which can be used by many user within Microsoft Windows Store or any other store available in Windows Phone etc. The next again very uncommon product is Windows Intune. Now let me help you uh, to give you the overall and the better idea of Windows Intune. Windows Intune help actually the organization and the people working inside the organization to use their devices and application they love. Means they can use any application, they can even take their own personal devices in the organization. I hope you heard about BYOD, bring your own device. That is a kind of technology that you can use your own device but the main primary use of the organization or the enterprise is to provide you better security or it work everything flawlessly and most important securely. So Windows Intune can analyze the system and provides you that information which allows you or which like in which you your machine is lacking for example your antivirus is not updated. So Windows Intune will help you to give you the information that this is your antivirus version which is an old version or the new version. The database is outdated, so kindly update. So you can consider this as an example. The next product from Microsoft is the developer tools, which is one of the very powerful products from Microsoft. All the developer love Microsoft products within this. So let's start with the first option is Microsoft Visual Studio. It is an integrated development environment. It is also called IDE from Microsoft itself, of course. And it is used to develop computer programs, especially for Windows related programs like for micro marketplace, for Windows operating systems, server operating systems, etc. And 
it is not only created application for these windows it also allow developers to do many things within the websites or web applications they have the web services options are also available in visual studio you can add it you can develop means anything that you know that like sky is the limit i can use this word within visual studio it's really one of the brilliant tool or developer tool from microsoft the next product is microsoft visual studio team foundation server guys this one is actually nothing but to gives you a tool that you need to check your application that you created within your visual studio so it allows you to create a demo network where you can test your application just like exactly you are using on the real time scenario here you can test find out bug and you can fix it so that allows lot of developer to work better with microsoft visual studio the next product is microsoft.net framework the microsoft.net framework actually provides a comprehensive and consistent programming model for building applications that is actually developer can make a very brilliant looking like you can say it's also uh, i can relate this to the user experience okay like the developer can use dotnet framework to create very intuitive and brilliant stunning user experience they can put in their own application by using the framework with the dotnet so it's really nice and a lot of guys I, i already heard and i saw and personally i'm using within sharepoint website sometime to add it few thing if the client or the enterprise needed from my end the next product is the microsoft asp.net microsoft asp.net is actually a free and fully supported web application framework that will allow you to create standards based web solutions again it allows you to do multiple things with the web solutions or means web application in short so it's again a very popular product from microsoft and a lot of people use it for their web application like they want to integrate the web application within the browser or they are creating the web application for facebook or uh, microsoft for example yammer or office 365 they can do it within the asp.net the next is windows store app development this development is actually introduce c sharp developer to working with the windows store so that the developer who are really specializes in or their expertise in c sharp they can use it the windows store app development and they can create windows application within that the next is windows phone development and i'm i'm sure you already understand this this one is to create the new applications for windows phone that is what i can say in a easy way of course including the uh, structure of the application the intuitive uh, interface user interface so they can do it a lot of thing within windows phone development the next is windows sdk it is also a software development kit this is actually provides a lot of tools compilers headers libraries which is already available the code samples as well so that developers can find out this information already available and they can use it and create the new applications as per their own requirement or their needs the next product we have is windows driver kit it is also a kind of tool set you can say provided by microsoft for lot of organization for example asus dell including alienware um just for you guys i i'm i'm making uh, right now the videos on alienware so i love it to speak about alienware that finally i have alienware with me <laughs> just kidding uh so this actually uh, driver kit is uh, provide uh, for the developers to create the device drivers especially for windows platform in short the next one we have msdn home and it is again a very popular for developers because it is a microsoft developer platform or you can say the digital network again you can say or developer network you can say that where you can find a lot of tools and lot of information available even the developers the they are sharing their experience they can provide the codes and you can share things like 
uh, I'm creating this application, what I can do. Even Microsoft also putting their own uh, interest in that and they provide some sample code so that you can use it and you can find it very easily. And with that, the developer can create the applications for mobile, for the desktops, for tablets, and especially for the people like those that are having good business or enterprise businesses and consumers. Means again, a lot of things are available in MSDN in short. The next product is Internet Explorer SDK. Internet Explorer is SDK is also kind of software development kit where the codes are available and the people can create or developer can create better applications within Internet Explorer. They can uh, change some security features. They can change their uh, looks or user experience. They can add few additional things and then they can submit to Microsoft as well. If Microsoft like it, they can publish it in their own upcoming Internet Explorer in shop. The next one we have the Xbox and the PC games. Guys, this particular part is especially for gamers. The Xbox Plus Kinect. I'm going to add these two things because Xbox I already mentioned before. But let me give you the high level overview once again with the Kinect. The Xbox and Kinect is like they are in the bundle and the Kinect is used with Xbox One and Xbox 360. Actually, these are two different consoles available based on the gamers requirement and it brings the games and entertainment to life extraordinary ways. That means Kinect can use your motions, your voice control to play any game. Like few games are available, those are required. Like the basic requirement for these all games are by using your voice. Like if you have some action games, you, you want to kill someone, so kill this, for example. So you can use these things within using Kinect. It will recognize your voice and put that voice into the game and you can use it with the same. Even there are motion games are also available like if you are playing badminton, tennis or basketball, you can just well, like move according just like you are playing in real and Kinect can capture that motion and put in a game and reflect exactly the same thing within the game. And in the next part, like PC game, of course, a lot of PC games are available on Xbox sites. You can go and find it by yourself, anyone you like. The next product from Microsoft have is for the health solution and we call the name is Health Vault. Health Vault product is actually the web-based platform product from Microsoft. And it actually store and maintain the health and the fitness information of yours. For example, uh, you have Microsoft Windows Phone and the Health uh, Vault is available there as a web application and there are few applications are available which can check your heartbeats and there are a lot of uh, nowadays you know that some uh, rings are coming, even some bands are coming which you can put on your hand and it will analyze your blood pressure, your heart rates and these kind of information. So you can collaborate these all information and put in one place. The main beauty of this solution is this. The next product is Skype. I already mentioned about this. What is Skype? It is IM. It uh, provides you video conferencing, but make sure you have the Skype installed on other side as well. Or if you don't have, you can also call on any mobile phone, but for that you need to buy the subscription. The next is Nokia devices. Nokia devices is like Microsoft Corporation actually recently announced or you can say the acquisition of the Nokia. Now everything is taken care by Microsoft for the Nokia including their services as well. So that's all the basic thing is right now I can share with this rest thing you already know that Nokia have some mobiles now Windows uh, operating system is running on Nokia and it is taken care by Microsoft. So I'm expecting that Microsoft is come up with very something extraordinary with the Nokia devices and I'm I'm really waiting for that personally. Guys, the very big thing for the enterprise, if you talk about business solution, that means you are only talking about the enterprise. Enterprises are always looking for better solution to work there, like working on their sales. As I mentioned in CRM, if you want to talk about accounting, they have different one. If you talk about sales, social media, attraction, how you can make your product better, 
a lot of things a lot of things are available within these applications so right now the main common word for that is microsoft dynamics the microsoft dynamics allow enterprises to take their things into next level means they can improve the customer relations they can improve the customer satisfactory stuff i mean they can create such program through which uh, the users can feel really good to use their products etc so this is all the part of these multiple microsoft dynamics product let's talk about the very first one ax microsoft dynamics ax it actually manage your manufacturing retail service or public sector businesses by using this application and especially it is also called ERP solution the ERP full form is enterprise resource planning solution where a lot of thing is going on so they use this product the second product we have CRM I already mentioned but let me help you to speak one more time it is the business solution from Microsoft Dynamics of course specially designed for customer relationship management for social listening like what is going on on the social websites or socially connected your website with the people or your customers and it will also manage your sales how you can improve your sales how you can do marketing and how you can improve your customer related services that is all about CRM the next product is from Microsoft is Microsoft Dynamic GP Microsoft Dynamic GP is again managing your financials activities including your supply chains like if you have a manufacturer organization you have to supply a lot of products so you can manage you can automate that all information by using GP not only that even it will integrate the business intelligence system as well that will allow to use that all the product that you like you you, know, you supply to the or you can see your customer how you can improve that in a better way so that is the really very good product for the enterprises especially who have a big organization who can supply the thing the manufacturer in short their financial activities it can be managed within this product the next product is Microsoft Dynamics NAV which is again the enterprise resource planning solution or the software which allows and use for accounting especially for accounting like financial department they have a lot of money so it's ongoing the money is coming they are giving this to the uh, other like vendors or something like that so it can be managed everything and it also have the customer relationship manager which is also called CRM so by using that you can also manage a lot of thing you can analyze that how much money go how much money come how you can manage this all all, uh, all over the thing even you have multiple account in multiple countries or different different countries you can still manage all these accounts within Microsoft Dynamics and AV like how much money you put on your account how much money is debit or credited credit these all information are available or you can use it within Microsoft Dynamics and AV the last product I want to share with you is Microsoft Dynamics SL it is specially for a use for project management and by using this project management I hope you already understand if you have a lot of people are working it can allow you to assign specific project to the specific department or the person uh, in a person specially and it will uh, means you know manage a lot of integrated thing within the project management there are a lot of applications are available uh, but generally nowadays it is used by North American people mostly I actually analyzed few information over the internet and I found uh, this product is famous in the North American sites only so guys this is the overall idea about Microsoft products lineup if you have any other concern or any other information feel free to share with me but we have remaining one more slide let's get to it and finish this particular presentation or you can say this video Microsoft Cloud the future is here guys I personally analyze and I search the information over the internet about a lot of different products not only Microsoft everyone is trying to put their products on cloud why it is very 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 much convenient to the user 
and on the enterprise side the enterprise organization which is actually or which generally a customer of these organization they don't need to pay money for hardware or their own infrastructure they even do not need to put any person to take care of that everything is managed by or all the information is collaborated over the cloud now let's talk about Microsoft according to my personal experience now Microsoft already put Xbox information Bing Outlook OneDrive Office 365 as you know have SharePoint multiple other products Microsoft Office web application Skype on Windows as your platform or Windows as your is also a part of uh, the cloud service on which people can deploy their active directory they can manage their servers as well I'm expecting that Microsoft is going to put every single thing on the cloud in upcoming days so the future is here so guys you need to learn as much as you can about cloud services if you have any concern or any question related to this presentation please feel free to contact me or ask me I'm always available thank you so much for watching thank you